I am a big movie fan. I always have been, ever since I was a little kid. There's just something about the feeling you get when you watch a good movie, or I guess even a bad movie, and uh, just get immersed in what you're watching. Whether you use it as entertainment purposes, or to escape reality, or even to go back to the good old days, like the 80s or before. Um, movies are good. Oh, that's dumb. <laughs> movies have been a big part of my life ever since I was a kid. Always going to the cinema as a kid, going to Blockbuster or a movie gallery or whatnot to rent a movie. Movies are just something I really enjoy watching and collecting. And like I said in the previous video, these first couple episodes are going to be slightly different from the normal content I'll be releasing. In this episode, I'm going to show you my Blu-ray collection, collection of TV shows, movies, and documentaries, to kind of show you what I enjoy watching. Because honestly, a lot of these movies and shows, I'm going to be either interviewing somebody from these movies, or taking you to a filming location of one of these movies, or just talking about one of these movies. So you kind of get to know me personally and what I like and what you kind of expect from future episodes. I do need to tell you that I have been made fun of my collection, not because of the content that I have, but because they are, first of all, alphabetized. You gotta have it alphabetized because it's hard to find a movie when you have a large collection. And uh, B, because I have little inserts that show you the different sections alphabetically. So there's A section, B section, and so on. I have been made fun of that, but like I said, when you have a large collection, you kind of got to know what section to go to if you're looking for Braveheart. Let's go to the B section. Or Scream. Let's go to the S section. So they are alphabetized. Hopefully they're in order. I recently put them all together. They might be slightly out of order, so don't be like, hey, you know, that movie goes after Seven Brides, Seven Brothers. You know, just as an example. Um, so yeah, here we go. Let's get started. First, we're going to start off with TV shows. American Horror Story, the first season. I really enjoyed the first season quite a bit. Really cool stories. Um, I mean, kind of weird. It's not for everybody, I do have to say that. American Horror Story Asylum, another good installment of the American Horror Story um, franchise. Um, I do think they kind of get worse as the seasons go on, but I really did enjoy the first handful of uh, seasons. Ash vs. Evil Dead and Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 2. Now, I actually haven't even finished the entire series, but I love the Evil Dead franchise. One of my all-time favorite shows as a kid was the A-Team. So here is the entire collection of A-Team. Another show that I loved as a kid, of course, in reruns, was the Adam West Batman series. And here is the complete television series on Blu-ray. And let's keep it Batman themed. One of the best animated series of all time. You've got Batman the Animated Series. I don't even feel like it's a cartoon. It, this is art. True art right here. Buck Rogers in the 25th century. I just remember watching this. I think my dad and I watched this show quite a bit together, but I remember watching it by myself or with my brother Mark. I uh, love this show. And of course, it's the entire series as well. Now we're going to skip along to Disney Afternoon. Chippendale Rescue Rangers, the complete series. Great cartoon, great cartoon. Another one of my all-time favorites. Something that I got into quite later in life. Actually, I think my buddy Jared started introducing me to this cartoon in the uh, late 90s, I think maybe 98, 99. Um, and then I got later involved in it with my roommate, um, Jordan. When I moved to Fargo, he was obsessed with it, and I watch it quite a bit with him, and I really do like it. It is Dragon Ball Z, the entire collection there on Blu-ray. I have not watched the entire series, but one day, one day I will. We got Flintstones, the complete series, another classic. You gotta own the Flintstones, love this show. Justice League Season 1, another one of my all-time favorite shows growing up was Knight Rider, the entire series right here. Still holds up today. One my mom was obsessed with that I loved a lot as a kid and still love today was Magnum P.I. So there is the entire series right there. I'm currently re-watching this as we speak. This is Miami Vice, the entire series. As a kid, I enjoyed it. Didn't quite know what was going on. Loved the music as a kid. Loved the action as a kid. Loved the cars as a kid. And this show is really, really good even now watching it as an adult. One of my all-time favorite shows even today Quantum Leap. This show really does hold up. I love this show. I mean, back then, um, Hillary, my best friend Hillary, growing up in Reno, she introduced me to this show when I was a kid, and 
I love it. Let's move along now to my brother's favorite cartoon. I think it's his favorite cartoon. At least it was when we were kids. Scooby-Doo, where are you? In this cool little house box set featuring the entire series. Got Star Trek, the original series. Stranger Things season one in this cool little VHS set here that I got from Target when it first came out. That 70s show, another classic late 90s, early 2000s TV show that I love today. Twilight Zone, the complete series. I love Twilight Zone. I can watch episodes over and over and over again. Got Walking Dead seasons one, seasons two. I love the first handful of seasons. I think it went downhill pretty quickly after maybe season four. Wonder Woman, the complete collection. One of my first ever crushes as a kid was Linda Carter. Yellowstone season one, big fan of Kevin Costner. Yellowstone season two. Now the cool thing is, I'm in this. I'm in one episode of season two. Don't, can't really see me. I am uh, kind of blurred out right behind one of the main actors who is observing a dead body. I'm playing a uh, Montana State Highway Trooper and I'm right behind one of the main guys observing the body. And as he pans up, you can see me, but I'm blurred out a little bit and they made me shave because in Montana at that time, um, state troopers had to be completely shaved, so I had no beard at the time. I did keep the cup that I was holding though, so I have that somewhere here in my office, the little paper cup that I was holding with fake coffee, which is really just hot steaming water, so you can see the steam coming up out of the cup. But it was a cool experience being on one episode of season two. Season four of Yellowstone. I'm actually in this one too. I don't play highway trooper though, I play a uh, sheriff's deputy in this one, and you see a lot more of me. Season four, episode nine, I'm actually in a scene with Kevin Costner, which is just a dream of mine. I mean, seriously, as a kid, he was one of my top favorite actors. I love Field of Dreams. I love many of his movies that came around that time. Dance of the Wolves and Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves was one of my favorites. So just to be able to meet him and do a scene, a small scene too, there wasn't many people on the set. And I do have a cool story. So in the scene, like I said, I play a deputy. And I walk down the hall and I walk in front of Kevin Costner. That's pretty much all you see. But the camera was very large and it blocked one of the hallways that we had to pretend to be walking down. So you'll see me come out and he's come behind me a little bit. I walk off screen, but I can't keep walking because the camera's blocking the doorway. So I have to walk into the wall so the camera doesn't see me. Kevin finishes his scene behind me talking to this girl and uh, when he's done, he walks off. Here I am. He walks off and you'll see him look down. That's because he's looking at my feet to know where he can place his feet so he can get up against me like this. Like literally, we were like this for like a minute. So he doesn't get seen by the camera too. And we did that maybe five or six times over and over and over again. And I'm like, man, if... 10 year old Timmy just knew that he'd be this close to Kevin Costner filming something he's in, I would just be freaking out. It was, just, it was really cool. Okay, so now we're gonna get to the assorted Blu-ray collection section. So not really appetized, but you know how sometimes Blu-rays are sold in sets with more than one movie. Um, that's what this section is for me. We'll start off with the Universal Classic Monster Complete. Yeah, I'm going blind, I'm getting old. Complete 30 film collection here. I love classic horror movies, black and white horror movies, Universal Monsters, I love it. The Rankin Bass Christmas Collection here, another staple growing up in the 80s was watching these great, amazing family films around Christmas time. I'm a huge, huge, huge Alfred Hitchcock fan. That man, so talented, such a pervert, but so talented. I love almost every Alfred Hitchcock movie. So here is the limited edition. The, uh, I think the first series, which had Rear Window, Vertigo, North by, North by Northwest, Psycho, and The Birds. My favorite being Rear Window. I can watch that movie and over and over again. The next collection in 4K of Alfred Hitchcock. Well, what can I say? My favorite being in this one, I think, would be The Trouble with Harry. Such an underrated Hitchcock movie. The Simon Pegg, Nick Frost trilogy with The World's End, Hot Fuzz, and Shaun of the Dead. Got a Tom Hanks double feature with Green Mile and Forrest Gump. Cannot go wrong with those movies. Ben-Hur and the Ten Commandments. I love the Ten Commandments. One thing that you learn about me is that I love classic Disney animated features. Um, Walt Disney is one of my biggest inspirations. And so the first one I have Saludos Amigos and the Three Caballeros. Great underrated feature that you all should watch. 
Hey, you! Join our Patreon! Whatever that is. This is called the Scream Queen double feature with The Fog and The Howling. The Fog is a great Carpenter movie. Really classic movie. The Howling, I haven't seen that in years. John Hughes, such a talented man as well. So this is the Yearbook Collection with Breakfast Club, 16 Candles, and Weird Science. Uh, my favorite probably being probably Breakfast Club. Great movie. My dad was such a huge fan of John Wayne. So when I watch any of his movies, I think of my dad. And like I said, my dad passed away almost 13 years ago. And um, just watching this movie just makes me feel like he's there watching it with me, you know. So I have a triple feature with the Cowboys, Green Berets, and the Searchers. Probably my most favorite actor of all time, or at least he's high up there on my list, would be Stallone. So this one is a three-pack of Rambo, First Blood, Copland, and Lockup. Um, Lockup is such an underrated movie. So is Copland, honestly. Triple feature with Swordfish, Point Break, and Executive Decision. I love Point Break. I, I mean, I love anything Swayze. So Point Break is such a such an awesome movie. Leonardo, Di Leonardo, Di Leonardo DiCaprio collection with Shutter Island, Aviator, uh, Blood Diamond, and Body of Lies. I love older movies, and this one is Forever Marilyn with a collection of her movies. Uh, gentlemen prefer blondes. I need glasses, my gosh. Seven Year Itch, classic movie, Some Like a Hot, classic movie, Misfits. I think it's her last film filmed in Reno, where I'm from. Um, how to Marry a Millionaire, just classics. I love Marilyn Monroe. And like I said, I love Disney. And this one is Celebrating Mickey. It's got a lot of classic Mickey shorts. And I got Mickey and Minnie, volume one with 10 classic shorts. And Mickey and Friends, volume two with 10 more classic shorts. One of my all time favorite franchises is the James Bond movies. This one has every single James Bond movie up until the last one. So they all right there. Um, I love Sean Connery. I mean, I love them all, but Sean Connery and Pierce Brosnan are probably my two favorites. Um, favorite probably being From Russia with Love. And not only do I love classic Disney, I love classic Looney Tunes. So I have the Platman, Platman, I don't know, what's a Platman? I don't know. Platinum Edition and the Platinum Collection Volume 1 and Volume 3. More Stallone movies, Assassins, Cobra, and The Specialist. Cobra, must watch. Such an underrated underappreciated Stallone movie, one of the best action movies of the uh, 80s. Got Lethal Weapon Collection, one, two, three, four. Love them all. Fourth one, yeah, I can live without it, but the first three I love. The Jack Ryan Five Film Collection. I haven't seen every one of these. Um, of course, the uh, Hunt for Red October and the ones with Harrison Ford are classics. I remember watching Some of All Fears, is that what it's called? Some of All Fears. I remember watching them in the theater with a couple of friends of mine when I worked um, in Yellowstone, the actual park, not the TV show. And I remember falling asleep. I love old movies, I love old actors, and one of my favorite old actors is Vincent Price. So I have the Vincent Price Collection, Volume 1 and Volume 2. Must-haves. I mean, his, that man's voice. I mean, that man's voice is just iconic. He is an amazing talent. Sure, he's in some cheesy movies, but I love those cheesy movies. And most of them are in these little two sets right here. Kevin Smith movies. I love his older movies. This one has Chasing Amy, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, and Clerks. All great movies. 51st States and Just Go With It. Just Go With It's pretty good. I really do enjoy 51st States though. So now we've reached the point where everything's kind of alphabetized. How do I know that? Because we're going to cross one of my little inserts here. First one is 12 Monkeys. Love it. Seventh Voyage of Sinbad. I love the stop motion by Ray Harryhausen. Just a classic. 101 Dalmatians, another classic Disney movie, and 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Now moving on to the A's. I actually just bought this one today off Facebook, Facebook Marketplace for a buck. Um, AI. I've only seen it once when I lived in Bozeman but when it first came out. So what, maybe 20 years ago. Remember, thinking it was okay, so I need to watch that one again. Two movie collection of the Adams Family. Uh, first one especially is such a great movie. Second one's really good, mainly because of the uh, camp scene where they're doing the play. Adventures in Babysitting, an essential for putting together a collection of classic 80 movies. Such a great movie. The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. 
not one of my all-time favorites of the Disney classics, but it's got a cool vibe to it, which I do appreciate. The Adventures of Robin Hood, Airplane, Aladdin, one of the best Disney movies ever made, I think. Um, I remember seeing that one in the theater. The King of Thieves and The Return of Jafar. Return of Jafar is not so great, but The King of Thieves is actually a really good movie. Alice in Wonderland, a classic. The Alien Anthology, which features every alien movie up until uh, Resurrection, yeah. Um, love Alien, love Aliens. I think they're on par with each other. Um, alien 3, I still enjoy, most people don't. Alien Resurrection, I didn't love. Alien Covenant, I think this is the closest they've gotten to the feel of an Aliens movie in modern times. All Dogs Go to Heaven, almost famous. One of my favorite movies right there. I don't know why I have this. I think it's because my kids. Um, actually, it's not that bad. The first one's not that bad. The second one and on, yeah, they're, they're kind of bad. So I don't know why I haven't owned them, but here's Alvin and the Chipmunks, the squeak wool. The Amazing Spider-Man didn't love this Sony version of Spider-Man, but I enjoy Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man 2, worse than the first one, but I wanted to complete the uh, collection, so I have it. The American Pie 4 movies, uh, first one, of course, is a classic. Second one I really do enjoy too. I hate American Wedding, but American Reunion felt more like the third movie of the franchise. The original Amityville Horror, American Tale, Anatomy of a Murder with James Stewart. One of my favorite actors is James Stewart. You probably see a lot of his movies popping up, so I enjoy this movie because I love James Stewart. Art and the Aardvark, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Aquaman, Armageddon, and the Steelbook version of Army of Darkness. I love Bruce Campbell. The Aristocats, The Arrival, The Assassination of Jesse James, and The Coward Robert Ford. Um, I am actually related to Jesse James, so it's cool to see this movie. And uh, I don't know, I thought it was really well done. Brad Pitt played a good Jesse James. Atlantis, The Lost Empire, and Milo's Return. Haven't even watched Milo's Return. Don't want to. I'm not a big fan of the Disney sequels. So I bought this one for the original Atlantis. The Awesome Powers Trilogy, We've got Avatar. The Avengers, the Avengers Age of Ultron, didn't really care for that one. Avengers Infinity War, great movie. The Avengers Endgame, another great movie. Got Awakenings with Robin Williams, such a great movie. If you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend watching it. It's such a tearjerker, great, great, great movie. Do you have a moment to talk about my favorite movie of all time? Yes, yes you do. And that is Back to the Future. And here is the trilogy in 4K. One, two, and three. They're almost all level for me when it comes to how much I love them. First one I love slightly more. Second one, slightly less. Third one, actually as I'm getting older, I'm enjoying the third one more than the second one, but I love them all. The first one is my all time favorite movie. So I highly recommend this set. Disney's Bambi. Got Barbie, my kids love that one, so I bought that one. Got the 1989 Michael Keaton Batman, one of the best comic book movies ever made. And Keaton is my Batman. Batman Returns, almost as good as the first one. Batman Forever, when I was 15, I enjoyed it when it came out. It's okay, I, I still enjoy it, but it's cheesy. Batman v Superman Ultimate Edition. Yeah, it's a thing, it's a movie. Um, I didn't hate it. Batman Begins, Christopher Nolan. You will learn that Christopher Nolan is one of my all time favorite directors. And not because of these movies, most people are probably huge fans of his because of the Batman movies, but no, they're actually my some of my least favorite movies, but I'm not saying they're bad. Batman Begins is freaking awesome. Um, Dark Knight is freaking awesome. They're just not my favorites in his, but Batman Begins, great movie. Remember going into it in a theater, not knowing what to expect. The Batman, I really enjoyed this one. Battery's Not Included, another classic that's kind of underrated that you should watch. The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms. I love these cheesy uh, B movies. A Beautiful Mind. Disney's A Beauty and the Beast in the Still Book. Another great Disney movie, probably one of the best made. Big, one of my all-time favorite movies. Big Hero 6, pretty good movie. Big Lebowski, I think it's my brother's favorite movie of all time. Big Trouble Little China, you'll find that I love Kurt Russell, one of my all-time favorite actors. Bill and Ted, double feature with Excellent Adventure and Bogus Journey. Of course, Excellent Adventure is very excellent. Bogus Journey is not as good, but I still really enjoy it. Bill and Ted Face the Music. This was a new one that came out, what, maybe three years ago. Black Cauldron, which is another underrated 80s Disney animated movie. Black Panther. Blade Trilogy. I love the second one, of course. Blade Runner, The Final Cut. Blade Runner 2049. Bodyguard with my co-star Kevin Costner. Bowfinger. If you haven't watched this one, I highly recommend it. Brave. 
Braveheart, one of my favorite movies, probably my top five favorite movies of all time. Breakfast at Tiffany's, Brewster's Millions. Brother Bear Part 1 and Part 2 have not watched Part 2 because, like I said, sequels of Disney usually suck. Bubba Hotep with Bruce Campbell. Great movie. So weird. Bumblebee. The Burbs with Tom Hanks. Another classic from my childhood. The Butterfly Effect. Now we're on to the seas. Can't Hardly Wait. Captain America the First Avenger. Captain America the Winter Soldier. Captain America Civil War. Captain Marvel. Casablanca on 4K. Casper, classic 90s movie. Castaway with Tom Hanks. Castle in the Sky. I love Studio Ghibli movies because I feel they are doing what Walt Disney originally did. Catch Me If You Can. Chucky Complete 7 Movie Collection. Love the Chucky franchise. You'll learn that I love cheesy 80s horror movies and Chucky is one of the franchises that I love. Chimpanzee. It's one of the Disney-like nature movies. I mean, it's fun to watch. Chipmunk Adventure. One of the best animated movies of all time. Um, if you haven't watched it, please do. It's hard to find nowadays. They're kind of out of print, I think, and more expensive, but I love, 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 love this movie. Love it. Love it. Love it. Man, it's a great movie. I kind of want to watch it right now. But I can't because I'm filming this video. Lion Witch in the Wardrobe. Prince Caspian. Voyager of the Dawn Treader. I kind of wish Disney kind of continued on. Of course, I don't think Disney did this one, but I wish they would have done all the books because I loved those books as a kid. Cinderella on Steelbook. One of my favorite Disney movies. Cinderella live action. Now, I think this is the only live action one I own of Disney's. No, I have Maleficent too. I don't like the live action ones. I, I enjoyed this one. I, I did. But... The ones that followed after that, didn't watch most of them. And if I did watch them, I, I didn't enjoy them. Cleopatra, classic. Clerks 3. Clue the movie. I love this movie. I've seen it multiple times. My kids love this movie. Coco. Commando with Arnold. Arnold, just like Stallone, is one of my favorite actors, especially growing up in the 80s. Um, Stallone slightly more. So Arnold, calm down. You're close. Um, I, I still celebrate most of your movies, but I just like Stallone just slightly a little more. Okay? Calm down. Cop with James Woods, Cowboys and Aliens, Creed, follow up to the Rocky movies, Criminal with my co-star Kevin Costner, The Critters Collection here, I haven't seen all of them, one day I will, Double Feature with Crocodile Dundee, Part 1, Part 2, love these two movies, especially the first one, Crystal Lake Memories, Friday the 13th and Jason Voorhees, probably my all-time favorite slasher movie franchise, I love Jason Voorhees and this documentary is a really cool behind the scenes look into those movies. Dances with Wolves with my co-star Kevin Costner. Dark City. The Dark Knight on Steelbook. Again, freaking amazing movie. Dark Knight Rises, not as good, but still pretty good. Davy Crockett collection with two movies. You got King of the Wild Frontier and The River Pirates. I remember watching these with my dad in the 80s. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes and Days of Thunder. Dead Man on Campus. I remember watching this one the weekend before I started college. Deadpool, the first one. Deadpool, the second one. Deja Vu. Deja Vu. Detective Pikachu. I think I that, got that one for my kids, but it was pretty good. Devil's Advocate. I love that movie. Dial M for Murder. Classic Hitchcock movie. One of my favorites of his. And this is the 3D version. Haven't watched it in 3D, but Grace Kelly, she's one of my favorites. Man, she was gorgeous. Such a great actress. Dick Tracy. Underrated. The Die Hard Collection, it's got five movies. First one is Unbeatable. Dirty Dancing, one of my all-time favorite movies. I probably get made fun of for how much I love this movie, but I do. I can watch it over and over again. I, I love I love this movie. Dirty Rotten Scandals, another classic that a lot of people, I guess, maybe haven't watched. I, I recommend it. It's, it's very funny. Disney Parks, I guess it's kind of a documentary about Disney Parks. I haven't seen this in forever. Forgot I haven't had it. Disorganized Crime, Actually filmed here where I live in Montana, so you will be getting a uh, filming location video very, very soon. Doc Hollywood, big fan of Michael J. Fox, good movie. Doctor Sleep, I love this movie. I saw this in the theaters when it came out. Um, amazing follow-up to an amazing movie, which is The Shining. Doctor Strange, Drive Angry, is okay. Dumbo. Dune, the first one, I actually haven't finished this one, so I need to finish it, especially since the second one just came out. Dunkirk, great Christopher Nolan movie. Ed Wood. Highly recommend this one. I love Ed Wood as the director, um, and Johnny Depp does an amazing job in this movie. Highly, highly, highly recommend this one. Edward Scissorhands. Election. I think this is another underrated movie of the late 90s. I really enjoyed that one. Elf, a classic Christmas movie. Elvis on 4K. I really love this movie, too. It's a little more stylized than I go for, but I love Elvis, and uh, I think... They did a great job with this movie. This is a combo pack with Ember's New Groove and Kronk's New Groove. New Groove. 
I, mean, I guess that's the thing now. Again, I haven't watched Kronk's New Groove, but the first one's really good. Empire Records, I love this comedy. Enchanted, End of Days with Arnie. Ernest Goes to Camp. Escape from New York with Kurt Russell, another great John Carpenter movie. Escape from Tomorrow. Now this is a horror movie that most people probably haven't seen. Maybe you haven't even heard of it, I'm not sure. But they, they went guerrilla style with this one when they filmed it, and they filmed most of it in Disney World and some in Disneyland illegally by just filming it on a regular camera and acting in front of tourists. Um, so it's a cool watch when you think about that, how it was all filmed illegally without Disney knowing. E.T., Spielberg classic. Event Horizon, one of my favorite sci-fi horror movies. The Evil Dead on Steelbook. Like I said, I love the Evil Dead franchise and Bruce Campbell. Evil Dead 2, maybe my favorite out of all the Evil Dead movies. Evil Dead, it was the remake that came out, what, 10 years ago? I enjoyed it too. Expendables part one, two, and three. I don't know if I've seen part two or three. The Faculty, it's a really cool late 90s horror movie that you may have not seen, I'm not sure, but I love this movie. Great soundtrack too. Fantasia and Fantasia 2000. No, I have seen Fan Fantasia 2000. It's really good too, but Fantasia is just art. It's, it's art. Fern Gully, great movie. Photo Dreams, man, such a great movie. So inspirational. I mean, I think I've cried multiple times watching this movie. I love it. And again, my co-star Kevin Costner. Fifth Element on 4K. Fight Club. The Fighter. Finding Nemo on Steelbook. Finding Dory. Flash Gordon. Cheesy 80s movie. Flatliners. Fletch. Probably my favorite Chevy Chase movie would be Fletch. Fletch Lives, not as good as the first one, but still pretty good. Flight of the Navigator. I remember wanting that little creature that he gets, you know, and having PB as uh, my navigator. Love that movie. Floyd Norman and Animated Life. It's a documentary about one of the classic Disney animators from Walt's time. Really good story. For Love of the Game with my co-star Kevin Costner. Forbidden Planet. Classic B sci-fi movie. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Very funny movie. Fox and the Hound and Fox and the Hound Part 2. Again, haven't seen Part 2. And now one of my favorite box sets that I have. Like I said, Friday the 13th is my favorite horror franchise. Um, very cool steelbook box that I have. Inside it has the movies, this little book. It's got iron-on patches, 3D glasses so you can watch part three. Just a cool set, man. Love these movies. Frighteners with Michael J. Fox. Frozen. FX and FX2. Love the first one. Don't remember much about the second one. Galaxy Quest. I think it's a funny movie. Gangs of New York. Ghost. Another one of my all-time favorite movies. Like I said, I love Patrick Swayze. Great movie. I love the music in this one too. Ghostbusters part one and part two. One of my all time favorite movie franchises. Love these movies. Here you go, Slimer. Why don't you eat that one? Ghostbusters Afterlife in 4K. I thought they did a really good job of giving you the feel of the first two movies. Not quite as good, but I did enjoy it. G.I. Joe, the original movie. The Girl Next Door. I think it's a really funny movie. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. I think I've only seen it once in the theater with my cousin, but I enjoyed it. Gladiator. Glass, I think it's pretty good, except for the ending. Glory, one of the best um, war movies ever made and one of the best soundtracks ever made. Gone Girl, Gone with the Wind. The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. The Good Dinosaur, a goofy movie. I guess I haven't even opened this one. I mean, I have seen it because I have the DVD of it, but. This one's unopened. Here's a triple feature with the Goonies, Gremlins, and Gremlins 2. All amazing movies. Love them, especially the Gremlins. Um, I mean, Goonies too, man. Good, good, good movies. Gatsby, The Great Mouse Detective. Vincent Price does an amazing job. The Greatest Showman. Groundhog Day, one of my favorite comedy movies. Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Hacksaw Ridge. Halloween, one of my favorite franchises as well. Great, great, great movie. Halloween 2, almost as good as the original. Actually, as a kid or teenager, I guess this was my favorite one of them. But as an adult, the first one's a little superior. So I enjoyed that one a little bit more, but still a great movie. Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Very underrated. I love this movie. Of course, Michael Myers is not in this one, but I do love this movie. Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. It's okay. Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. It was okay. Halloween H2O, Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers, and Halloween Resurrection. Halloween Resurrection sucks. Curse of Michael Myers sucks. I really did enjoy H2O though. Halloween, this is the recent one. I thought it was pretty good. Um, not as good as everybody says. I thought it was pretty good. Halloween Kills, I think this one was better than the other one that I just showed you. Um, I don't even own Halloween Ends because it's, it's bad. It's not good. Hans Christian Andersen with Danny Kaye, probably an underrated movie that 
you may not ever know, but I liked it as a kid, and I think it's a really good family film now. The Hard Way with James Woods and Michael J. Fox. I think it's a great, funny, um, buddy cop movie. Harry and the Hendersons, one of my favorites. I think his suit, Harry's suit in this, is one of the best practical effects ever seen in a movie. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer of Stone and Chamber of Secrets. Not huge in Harry Potter, but my kids love it, so I think I have all these for my kids. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, eh. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, eh. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, eh. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, and I'm realizing they are out of order. Sorry about that, Harry Potter freaks. Eh. Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows Part 2. I enjoyed this one. A lot of good action. I enjoyed it. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Yeah, they're definitely out of order. Eh. Harvey. Like I said, Jimmy Stewart, one of my favorite actors. Such a great movie. Hatchet. This is a recent horror movie franchise with Kane Hodder, who played Jason Voorhees in a handful of the Friday the 13th movies. It has an old school horror movie feel to it, so I enjoyed these movies for the most part. Hatchet Part 3. I guess I don't own Part 2, because I don't remember loving Part 2, but 3 was pretty good. Victor Crawley, which is the next one in the Hatchet franchise, because... His name is Victor Crawley. Hatfields and McCoys with my co-star Kevin Costner and Bill Paxton. Haunting of Hill House. Such a great show on Netflix. Go watch it if you haven't watched it. It's, it's amazing. Great acting, great stories, great music. The Heavenly Kid, uh, underrated 80s movie. Heavy Metal, yes it's animated. No, it's not for kids, but it's got great music in it and great animation. Disney's Hercules, Highlander on 4K. History of the Eagles, one of my favorite bands, if not my favorite band of all time. An amazing, amazing documentary. Even if you're not a fan of the Eagles, you should watch it and you will become a fan. Such a great documentary. The Hobbit, and then Hobbit 2, Hobbit 3. I don't remember watching the second or third one. I don't remember loving the first one. Home Alone, one of the best Christmas movies of all time. Home Alone 2, almost as good as the first one. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, one of my favorite movies. Love this movie. Uh, I think it's one of the first movies I remember watching in the theater when I was a kid. Honey, I Blew Up the Kid, not as good as the first one, but still pretty fun. Hook, saw this one in the theater as a kid as well. A lot of people hate on it, but I love Hook. I really do love this movie. I can watch this one over and over again. Hot Shots, saw this in the theater as well when I was a kid. So funny. Charlie Sheen at his best. House on Haunted Hill from 1999. House on Sorority Row. Um, just a cheesy horror movie that I enjoy. Howard the Duck. Is it a good movie? No. Do I enjoy it? Yes. How's Movie Castle, another great Studio Ghibli movie. Probably one of the... Uh, best from that studio. Hunger Games. I own this one because of my kids. First one I didn't love. Hunger Games Catching Fire. This one I liked more than the first one. Um, I do enjoy this one. Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1 on Steelbook. Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2. Not on Steelbook. I Am Big Bird. This is the uh, story of Carol Spinney who was the original Big, Big Bird who just passed away a couple years ago. This is an amazing documentary, especially if you love Sesame Street. I really do enjoy this one. Highly, highly, highly recommend this one. I've interviewed him twice. He was a, he was a great man. I Am Legend. I think I watched this one in the theater with my buddy Jared. I Know We Did Last Summer. I think I saw this one with my buddy Scott. Or at least the second one I did. Don't remember. But I enjoyed the first one. In the Mouth of Madness with Sam Neill. Another uh, John Carpenter movie. I, I love John Carpenter. Such a great director, and I don't know if I've seen this one yet since I bought it. Inception, Christopher Nolan, one of his best movies. Probably my second, maybe third, maybe second. I'm not sure. Favorite movies of his. This is the Steelbook Collection. The Incredibles and The Incredibles Part 2. Independence Day, An Innocent Man with Tom Selleck, very underrated. Indiana Jones, The Complete Collection. Well, at the time it was complete until Disney started to do very bad things to that franchise. But um, I love Indiana Jones. My second favorite franchise after Back to the Future is Indiana Jones. My favorite movie being probably Last Crusade. I remember seeing that in the theater. And then the recent one, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. I did enjoy this one. I do think it's maybe 30 minutes too long. If they would have cut some scenes out, I would have enjoyed it a lot more Inside Out. Interstellar by Christopher Nolan. Great, great, great movie. Interview with Vampire. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. This one's Iron Man. It was a cool collector's edition where you get his uh, helmet there that opens up. The original It, the remake of It, I enjoyed it. Um, didn't really love the second one of it. It's a Wonderful Life. This is my go-to Christmas movie. I watch it every year. 
I love this movie, man. Jimmy Stewart at his finest right there. You got the original Jaws. So amazing. Jay and Silent Bob, the reboot. Didn't love it, but it's Jay and Silent Bob, so I enjoyed it. Gem and the Holograms, based on the Gem cartoon series from the 80s. I guess it's loosely based on it. Jeepers Creepers, The Jerk. Jetsons, the movie. A lot of people don't like this movie, but I love this movie. I really do. I think the music's cool in it. Animation's great. It's good to get most of the original cast back to voice everybody. Jewel of the Nile, John Carter. Got John Wick. I love Keanu Reeves. I've loved him before. He's been cool to love him. John Wick Chapter 2. John Wick Chapter 3. Got the Joker here. Journey to the Center of the Earth. Journey 2. Um, I don't remember really liking this movie because I'm not really a big fan of The Rock as an actor. Jumanji, the original one with Robin Williams. Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. Although I don't like The Rock as an actor, this one isn't that bad of a movie. I thought it was pretty funny. The Jungle Book. The Jurassic Park Ultimate Trilogy. I love the first one. I saw that one in the theater when it originally came out. I think I was 12, maybe 13 when it came out. Um, the theater was packed. Not one seat was open. And I remember the scene where the raptor came out and hit the fence at, right after you see Samuel L. Jackson's arm after he dies. And um, everybody in the theater just jumped. And like the whole theater just shook. It was such a cool, immersive experience watching that one in the theater. Second one, I do enjoy that one. Third one, I don't. Um, I think it's pretty dumb. Jurassic World, I thought it was a cool, almost kind of a reboot of the original one. Unfortunately, it goes really downhill after this movie. Justice League, not the greatest. Zack Snyder's Justice League, I thought it was slightly better. Actually, I, I did enjoy this one. I thought it had a cooler, darker feel to it than... Uh, yeah, I think it was better. Karate Kid, one of the best 80s movies, um, still holds up today. Karate Kid Part 2, I think when it comes to 80s sequels, the Karate Kid has some of the best sequels. Karate Kid Part 3 and the next Karate Kid, again, I enjoy those. Kindergarten Cop, I actually revisited this one last night. I've seen it multiple, multiple times. I saw this one in the theater as well when I was a kid. Great Arnie movie. The original King Kong. Peter Jackson's King Kong that came out in the early 2000s. Love that movie. Now let's talk a little bit about remakes. I usually hate remakes. I think there's only key exceptions when it comes to remake. And there's certain things that I think it's okay to make a remake if there's been a, enough time, A, between the two movies. This one, there's years and years and years apart from the movies. And B, if you can improve upon it when it comes to special effects, maybe story, maybe acting, this one really did it. I really like this movie. Carpenter, a movie I guarantee you've never seen and never heard of. That's actually me right there. I play Carpenter. Um, this Blu-ray is out of print. You cannot find it, but you can find the full movie on YouTube. Just type in Carpenter under Fast Coast Productions. Um, Written directed by my buddy Christian Ackerman. Again, that's me as Carpenter. Um, kind of wrote it as an homage to slasher movies of the 80s. Knives Out. Cuffs. Christian Slater. One of my favorite actors. Very underrated, I think. I just thought he was so cool when I was younger. But Cuffs, one of his best films. La Bamba. L.A. Confidential. Great movie. I love the look and the feel of it. I love that era of Hollywood. And they did such an amazing job taking you back and making you feel like you are back in the good old days of Hollywood. Labyrinth. Great Jim Henson movie. Lady and the Tramp. Land Before Time, another one of my favorite animated movies. I remember watching this one when I was a kid and my parents renting it and me seeing it for the first time when I was homesick from school. I, I think it probably ruined that VHS because I rewound it so many times and watched it so many times. Last Action Hero, underrated Arnie flick of the early 90s. The Last of the Mohicans, another one of my all-time favorite movies. One of the best, if not the best, movie score, movie soundtrack of all time. The Last Starfighter, a classic from the 80s. The Last Unicorn. Legends of the Fall, another one of my favorite all-time movies. Another great movie score. One of the most depressing movies of all time, but I love it. I love it, love it, love it. The Lego Movie. Lego Movie, the second part. I don't think I've seen it. I think my kids bought this. I don't remember. Leonard Part 6, Bill Cosby. Not a good movie. I remember watching it when I was young, though, and, and liking it when I was young. Not a good movie, but fun to watch, expecting a bad movie. Lilo and Stitch 2 movie collection have not watched the second movie, of course. The Lion King on Steelbook. The Little Mermaid. Probably top five for me for Disney movies. Great movie. Little Mermaid, Ariel's Beginning, and Little Mermaid 2. One of the few Disney sequels I've seen. Not good. Little Monsters. I swear, re-watching this as a kid, I think this is where they got the story idea for Monsters, Inc. from. 
I mean, he even looks like Soli, you know? I don't know. It's got a very Monsters, Inc. vibe to it. Live, Die, Repeat, one of the best recent Tom Cruise movies. Logan, such a great movie. Look Who's Talking, classic from when I was a kid. Looper, Lord of the Rings on Steelbook. It's got all three in there. The Lost Boys, great movie. Lucky Number Slevin, another one that I picked up this morning off of Facebook for a buck. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. Now, what I didn't think was pretty cool was Mac and Me, but you have to buy it. I mean, come on, it's, it's bad. Machete. Machete Kills. I don't think I've seen this one yet. Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome on Steelbook. I love Mad Max. Maleficent Mallrats. The Maltese Falcon, Man of Steel. The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, The Martian, Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins Returns. I think this is like a uh, import or something. Masters of the Universe. Cheesy beyond belief, but I love it. I think it's a great movie. I'm sorry. Matinee. Matrix. Another one I saw with my buddy Jared in Florida. I went into the theater not knowing anything about it. I don't think I saw a trailer for it when the first came out, and I was blown away. Matrix Revolutions. It's okay. Matrix Reloaded. It's okay. Matrix Resurrections. I forgot I had this. I haven't watched it yet. Is it good? I don't know. Maverick. I think this is a great, great romantic comedy. Uh, Mel Gibson. Again, one of my favorite actors. Um, just fun. Maze Runner. From Crazy Mike's video, that was a local rental store here in Montana that went out of business a handful of years ago. I remember buying this for probably 50 cents or a dollar when they went out of business. I haven't watched it. My daughter Sarah likes it. I think I bought it for her. The Clint Talk with John Wayne, one of my dad's favorites uh, from John Wayne, and it's really good. Meet Joe Black. I like Brad Pitt a lot. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a sappy, romantic movie but it's still good memento one of my all-time favorite movies maybe even my number one favorite movie of all time christopher nolan before who i knew christopher nolan was this is like his first major movie that he ever made if you watched it once and didn't like it watch it a second time because you really need to watch this movie more than one time to really understand it and uh really to enjoy it you need to watch it twice i've seen it probably 50 times and i still i love showing new people this movie. People who've never seen it, I love showing it because it's such a good movie. It's so um, weird. It's told backwards and uh, it still keeps you on the edge of the seat. I love that movie. Got the Men in Black trilogy. First one's good. Second one, I think is slightly better. Third one, I really enjoyed as well. Mickey's Christmas Carol, one of the best versions of Christmas Carol. The Mighty Ducks. This is another uh, Disney Movie Club exclusive. I haven't even opened it. Minority Report, Miracle. One of my favorite sports movies, actually. Got the Mission Impossible 6 movie collection. I love the Mission Impossible movies. Moana. I haven't even seen it. I'm not really interested. I, I'm losing... I mean, I've lost interest in modern Disney. I hear it's good. My kids liked it. I, I just really don't want to watch modern Disney movies. They don't appeal to me. Um, I know you might say they're made for kids, but Walt Disney used to make animations for everybody. Kids of all ages. Moneyball, Monsters, Inc., Monsters University, a sequel I have seen, not as good as the first one, but it's okay. Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat Annihilation, Mortal Kombat Legacy. I have not seen Legacy. Annihilation is an abomination, actually, and Mortal Kombat. I really do like the first one quite a bit. I really do. I love the soundtrack. Motel Hell, cheesy 80s horror movie. Um, my dad, I think him and I watched it when I was a kid. We didn't watch it like rated R version. I think it was on TV, like on TNT or something. I don't know if T I don't remember if TNT was a thing when I was, it was a kid in the eighties, but I think we watched it censored and I remember liking it quite a bit as a kid. This is Doubtfire. Jimmy Stewart is Mr. Smith goes to Washington. Mulan, Mulan 2, I've not seen part two. The Mummy trilogy, I think I've, yeah, I've seen the first two. The Muppet movie, I love the Muppet, love Jim Henson, just like Walt Disney, he's an inspiration of mine. Muppet Christmas Carol, probably the best version of Christmas Carol, for me at least. Muppets Most Wanted, haven't seen it, honestly. And I guess it's out of order. This is The Muppets. I really did enjoy this one. I saw this one in the theater. I, my Cousin Vinny. My Girl, My Girl Part 2, Napoleon Dynamite. National Lampoon's Vacation. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, one of the best Christmas movies of all time. Never Ending Story. I love the Never Ending Story, man. Night of the Comet, another one that I watched as a kid with my dad on TV. Night of the Demons. I did not watch this one with my dad. I don't think he would have liked this one, but it's fun. Night of the Living Dead. Nightmare Before Christmas. This is the Nightmare on Elm Street 7 movie collection. Another one of my favorite franchises. I do think they're not as good 
as like the Friday the 13th because there's not as many good movies in the collection. No Time to Die. I thought it was a cool ending to Daniel Craig's Bond. Oblivion. Office Space. Disney's classic Old Yeller. Once Upon a Time in America. This is an out of print Blu-ray. I think they go for well over 40 bucks. And I picked it up for like 50 cents at yard sale last year. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I do enjoy Tarantino movies, but not as of late. But this movie, I think, is his best movie he's made. One Million Years BC, Onyx the Fortuitous, and The Talisman of Souls. You may not have ever heard of this movie. Just came out last year. Um, so backstory in this movie. Maybe about a year and a half ago, I get this Instagram message from the writer and director. He actually plays Onyx here. And uh, he tells me he's a big fan of my Saturday Morning Rewind podcast where I interview voice actors and everything. And um, then we start talking and he tells me about a project he's working on, which is this movie here. You know, I'm thinking, okay, that's cool. You know, low budget, independent movie. It's going to be cheesy and cool. But then I saw the trailer back in December of 2023 and it blew me away. Go watch the trailer for Onyx the Fortuitous and the Talisman of Souls and then go buy this movie because it is a fun movie that takes you back. It's got an old 80s and 90s feel to it. A lot of pop culture references from the 80s and 90s as well. Oppenheimer from Christopher Nolan. It is really one of his best movies. I, I really do enjoy this movie. Saw it in the theater, of course. Oscar, this one gets a lot of hate, but I think it's a really fun Stallone movie. I think this is when he was trying to get more uh, comedic roles, maybe trying to follow in the steps of Arnold when it comes to twins and uh, Kindergarten Cop, the others. Over the top, overboard. Paranormal Activity Part 1, 2, 3, the marked ones. I think this is the third one, I'm not sure. Nope, there's three right there. And then Paranormal Activity Part 4. I enjoy these. I think the first one and the second one are the best of the series. They go downhill after that. The Patriot, Pearl Harbor, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Love it. The original Pet Cemetery. Peter Pan, again, one of my all time favorite Disney movies. Return to Neverland. I have seen the sequel. It's one of the better ones, maybe because the animation's better, because it actually went to theaters, I believe, and the music's better. Still, the story's not very good, though. Pete's Dragon. Classic, classic, classic Disney movie. Oh, okay. Didn't know I had this one. I forgot I bought this one from my daughter, Audrey. Phantom of the Opera. This is the, like, the live version. Pink Panther, the original one. Pink Panther, the uh, cartoon collection. And my all-time favorite animated Disney movie, Pinocchio. Piranha, another one I picked up for, like, a buck when that movie store was going out of business locally. Pirates of the Caribbean, the first one. Pocahontas, Pocahontas 2, again, have not seen the second one. Poltergeist on 4K. Ponyo, another Studio Ghibli movie. Popeye, I have a love-hate relationship with this movie. I love the atmosphere. I love the feel of this movie. I don't think it's the greatest of movies, but all the actors are amazing. And I think there's like one too many songs, maybe, or maybe five too many songs. Power Rangers, the one that came out a handful of years ago. I thought it was pretty good. I was never a huge Power Rangers fan. I was a little too old when it first came out. Predator Part 1, Part 2, of course, Part 1 being the superior one. The Prestige, another Christopher Nolan movie. I think this is maybe my second favorite Nolan movie, maybe third. Pretty Woman, The Princess Bride, Princess and the Frog, my daughter Audrey's, I think, favorite Disney movie, Prisoners, Private Eyes with Tim Conway and Don Knotts, Prometheus, didn't love it, didn't hate it, Psycho Collection, I love the Psycho movies, uh, first one, of course, is a Hitchcock classic, I do think the other ones are actually still pretty good, though, uh, different feel to them, have more of a horror movie feel to them, Pump Up the Volume, Christian Slater, Pumpkinhead, the Punisher. Not as bad as people say. The Purge Anarchy. I bought this one for a dollar again from that one store that went out of business. Puss in Boots. Another one I bought for my kids. Quickly Down Under with Tom Selleck. Rambo 5 movie collection. Like I say, I love Stallone. I love Rambo. First one being the best, of course. Ramona and Beezus. I bought this one for my kids. They liked it when they were younger. Ransom with Mel Gibson. Good drama. Ratatouille. Ready or not. One of the coolest, most unique stories I've seen in a horror movie lately. Go watch it. I mean, unless you don't like horror movies or blood and guts, but it's great. Ready Player One, a lot of nostalgia in this movie. Red Dawn, Reminiscence. I bought this one before I watched it. Not the greatest, but I'm not gonna sell it. The Rescuers Part One, Part Two. This is when Disney could make good sequels. So both movies are really good. Return to the Living Dead, Return to Oz. Freaky movie. 
The Revenant, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Rio Bravo, Roadhouse, one of my guilty pleasure movies. I love this movie. Patrick Swayze, probably at his finest. Robin Hood, probably my second favorite Disney movie of all time. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, starring my co-star Kevin Costner. One of my favorite movies of his. Great soundtrack. I love Brian Adams, especially everything I do, I do it for you. So just hearing that song over and over again in the background just makes me happy. The Robocop trilogy. Rockadoodle. Rocky. This is when I fell in love with Stallone. I love Rocky. I mean, even Rocky V. It's not the greatest, but I still like it. Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Romance in the Stone, one of the best, most underrated action-adventure romantic movies of all time. I love Romance in the Stone. Romeo and Juliet. The Room, signed by Tommy Wiseau when I met him. The Rope with Jimmy Stewart. The Running Man with Arnold. Samurai Cop. Again, one of the worst movies ever made, but it's fun to watch because it's so bad. Samurai Cop 2. Not a good movie, and it's not fun to watch. It's, it's really not a good movie at all. My name is in it because they did a Kickstarter to get the movie made and I gave them some money so my name is at the end credits. But I don't remember liking this movie. The Sandlot, a movie I did like. Saving Mr. Banks. I love this movie. It's the story how Walt Disney made Mary Poppins. Scarface on 4K. Schindler's List. Scream. One of my favorite movies of all time. Um, watched it when it came out. I didn't see it in the theater. I think I was 16 when it came out. But we rented it. And I remember watching it, and in the opening scene when Drew Barrymore is answering the phone, our phone rang at the same exact time, and I answered it, and nobody was there. Um, and that's before really cell phones were really a big thing. I didn't know anybody with a cell phone. So nobody knew we were watching it. My brother was watching it with me, and he didn't call because he was in the room watching it with me. So I just became obsessed with this movie afterwards. Scream 2 is actually the record for how many times I've seen a movie in a the theater. I think it's five or six times I saw this one in the theater. Not as good as the first one, but still a really, really solid movie. Scream 3, not a solid movie. Saw it maybe three times. Saw it with my buddy Eric. Good soundtrack, though. I like the soundtrack. Scream 4, they redeemed themselves a little bit, except for the opening sequence. I did not like that opening sequence. And then this is the Scream 1 that came out a couple of years ago. I enjoyed this one, too. Could have been better, but I enjoyed it. Scream 6, I forgot about this one. Um, I wanted to love it. I really did. I thought it was cool to be in New York City, a different a different kind of Scream vibe to it, but I didn't love it. Scrooged. Love that movie. Secret to My Success. Secret World of Arietti, another Studio Ghibli movie. Seven. Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, one of my wife's favorite uh, musicals, and I enjoy it as well. Shawshank Redemption. Shazam. The Shining, one of the most perfect horror movies. Shrek 1. Shrek 2, Shrek the 3rd, and Shrek Forever After, Silence of the Lambs. Sin City, Singing in the Rain, my wife's favorite musical movie. I love it too, except for the ending. Sister Act and Sister Act 2, fun movies. Psycho one, not as good. I mean, not really great either. The Sixth Sense, he's dead. Sleepaway Camp, yeah, the ending's fun, right? Go watch it. If you haven't seen it, watch it for the ending. It's, it's great. Sleeping Beauty, Sleepy Hollow, Slumber Party Massacre on Steelbook Blu-ray, Snow White, Summer's Bee. This is a bootleg, of course, because Disney's too afraid to release Song of the South. I enjoy it, though. Sound of Music, Space Jam, the original, because the second one is really, really, really bad. Speed, Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 3, not as bad as people say it is, still not a great movie. Spider-Man Homecoming, Spider-Man No Way Home, I thought it was really cool bringing all the Spider-Mans back. Spider-Man Into Spider-Verse, Spirited Away, Studio Ghibli at its finest right here, my favorite of their movies. Split, Stagecoach, The Stand, now this is the 90s version of it, this is the miniseries that was on ABC, I believe. I love it. I love this version of The Stand. I haven't seen all of the remake that came out a handful of years ago. I got kind of bored with it. But this version is great. Star Wars Born. Star Trek. This is the original motion picture collection. It's got all the movies. I think it's all five of the movies. Star Wars Episode 1, 2, and 3. Original Star Wars. Love it. You can't go wrong with the original Star Wars. I wish they would release the original cut, though. I don't like Lucas's CG cut, you know? So I wish they'd release it with... All the puppet glory. Star Wars Force Awakens. It was okay. Star Wars The Last Jedi. I didn't like this one that much. Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. It was better. Steel Dawn with Patrick Swayze. I've actually never seen this one. I didn't even know it existed until a couple years ago. Stop for Mamamo Shoot. I liked it when I was young. Not a good movie. Summer School. Super Mario Brothers. 
I don't think it's the worst movie ever made. It's kind of fun, but it's not great though. Super Troopers, Super Troopers Part 2, Supergirl, Superman the movie Part 2 and Part 3. I love the first two movies. I love them. Superman The Quest for Peace and Superman Returns. Swamp Thing, Sweeney Todd, Swiss Family Robinson, one of the best, I think, live action Disney movies that he made when he was alive. Sword in the Stone, Taken, Tales from the Crypt presents Demon Knight. A classic movie. Bill Zane, probably his best movie. Tangled, Tango and Cash, Tarzan, Teen Wolf, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I think this case is very rare, but it's like an old pizza box. You open it up and it's got these pizza discs in there, which have the uh, first four movies. Uh, first one, like I said in our previous video, the first turtle movie is one of the best comic book movies ever made and one of my all-time favorite movies. Second one's really good too. I mean, not as good. It's a little more childish for me. Um, third one, not good. And the fourth one in here is the Team NT one, the CG one that came out in the early 2000s, which I thought was cool. This is the uh, Ninja Turtle Out of the Shadows. I didn't hate this one. I think it would have been better if the CG was better. The turtles just look weird. But this really felt like a late 80s, early 90s cartoon episode of the Ninja Turtle cartoon. The Terminator, one of the best Arnold movies. Terminator 2, the best Arnold movie. Terminator 3, Terminator Salvation. People hate this movie. I think it's one of the better ones after T2. Um, I like it. I really do. I wish the trailer did not give away the plot and the ending of this movie. Terror Train, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, one of my all-time favorite horror movie franchises is the Texas Chainsaw movies. They're not all great. I mean, they're not all good, but I just enjoy them. I don't know, the grittiness of them. Um, I like it. This first one is amazing. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Beginning. Texas Chainsaw. Leatherface. I think this might be one of my least favorites in the uh, franchise. Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation. Nope. This might be my least favorite one of the, the, all of them. Not really good, but I still enjoy it because it's Texas Chainsaw. Them. There's something about Mary. They live. The Thing from Another World. The Thing. This is John Carpenter's The Thing. Pretty much a remake of the one I just showed you, but this is when remakes do things right. And this movie is one of my all-time favorite movies. Maybe, it probably is my favorite horror movie of all time. The music's amazing. The uh, effects are amazing. All practical effects. Uh, Kurt Russell, probably my favorite movie of his. Thor, Thor the Thar, the Thar, the Thar world. Thor the, th wow. Thor the Dark World. Three Migos, The Three Musketeers. This is the one with Charlie Sheen from the 90s. The Tigger movie, The Tingler. This is a Vincent Price movie, very cheesy. There Will Be Blood, got this one today, again, for a dollar off of Facebook. Titanic, which is a classic from the 90s. Titanic, this was the miniseries that was on TV. It was actually really good. To Hell and Back, this is the story of Kane Hodder, a documentary about the uh, actor, the stuntman who played Jason Voorhees. Great inspirational movie. To Kill a Mockingbird. Tombstone, probably my favorite Western of all time. Kurt Russell, Val Kilmer. Top Gun. Top Gun Maverick, which I actually enjoyed more than the first one, which is a huge surprise to me. I thought it was great. This is how to do a sequel right, honestly. Total Recall. Toxic Avenger, signed by Lloyd Kaufman, the creator of Toxic Avenger. I don't know if you've ever seen the clip where I uh, dressed in the official costume from Toxic Avenger when I met Lloyd Kaufman, but that was a really cool experience for me to actually wear Lloyd Kaufman's costume that he had. He's actually the one that suggested that I do it, so it was really cool to do that. This is the Toxic Avenger collection. It's got all the movies. They're not all great, but I enjoy them because I love Toxie. Toy Story, Toy Story 2, Toy Story 3, and Toy Story 4. I think they should have ended it after 3 because 3 had a great ending, but I still enjoyed Part 4 too. Transformers, the movie on Steelbook. Great, great cartoon from the 80s. Great soundtrack. Michael Bay's Transformers. I thought they did a really good job, honestly, with this movie. Could have done without some of the stupid cheesiness, but I enjoyed it. Treasure Island. Treasure Planet. Tremors. Tron. Tron Legacy. True Romance. Maybe one of the best Christian Slater movies. Twins. One of my favorite Arnold movies. Unbreakable. Under Siege 1 and Under Siege 2. The Untouchables with my co-star Kevin Costner. Up. The Usual Suspects. John Carpenter's Vampires with James Woods. Vanilla Sky, Varsity Blues. I saw this one with my buddy Scott in Florida. Videodrome, very weird movie. 
I didn't know what to really expect when I started watching it a while ago. Good movie though with James Woods. Good movie. Wally, Warrior, Watchmen, The Waterboy, Waterworld, which is not as bad as people think it is. I enjoy it. Of course, it's got Kevin Costner, my co star. Weekend at Bernie's, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, one of my favorites. Love Zemeckis movies. Willow, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, The Wind Rises, Studio Ghibli. I have not even watched this one yet. I bought it maybe three years ago. Wings. I haven't even opened this one. I got this one at the thrift store for a couple bucks. Um, it says it's the first ever Academy Award winner. Winnie the Pooh. Uh, this is a cool sequel to the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. The Wizard. The Wizard of Oz. Wonder Woman. The Wraith. You may not have heard this one either. It's got Charlie Sheen. Um, it's a cool flick. Wreck-It Ralph the Wrestler. Wrong Turn. Wyatt Earp with Kevin Costner. My co-star. X-Men, I guess this is the movie that started the whole comic book craze. Um, I remember watching this one. I remember renting this one on VHS uh, when it first came out. It was Thanksgiving, and I was by myself, and I, I ordered a large pizza and ate pizza and watched this one, and I loved it. X-Men 2. This is probably the best of the X-Men movies, in my opinion. X-Men The Last Stand. X-Men Days of Future Past. I really enjoyed this one. I really do. X-Men First Class. I didn't love it. X-Men Apocalypse, again, didn't love it. You can't take it with you. Haven't watched this one yet, but it has Jimmy Stewart, so I know I'm gonna like it. Young Frankenstein, Young Guns, Zodiac, and that leaves us with my last one, Zootopia. But that's pretty much it. That's my collection. And just because I don't have a movie doesn't mean I don't like it. There's a lot of movies that I love that I don't have yet. Uh, most of them are on, on my Amazon wish list that I'll buy at some point, but actually I like finding them in the wild. I like finding them at thrift stores, yard sales, pawn shops, that kind of stuff. So who knows, maybe you'll see some videos of me doing that on this channel. But that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you watched the entire video, I love you. I really do. Thank you for watching the video. If you didn't watch it, of course you're not gonna see this ending, so I don't love you. Next video, I will be showing you my classic NES collection. Don't worry, it's not as large as this. It won't take nearly as long, but I have some really cool and a lot of rare games as well. So stay tuned for that. See you in the next video.